Everton track, but an intrinsic part of the local community, the Borussia Park here in Mönchengladbach. I'm Derek Ray, here on the commentary position, joined by Lee Dixon to help me describe all the action. And we've got so much to look forward to. This is where it all begins in Europe's Premier Club competition, the UEFA Champions League, the group stage, match day one action. It's Borussia Mönchengladbach facing Manchester City. Yeah, cheers, Derek. Well, what a big moment for this club and these fans. But as underdogs, you've got to put the pressure on early doors. You've got to use that home advantage push back the team that's playing against you and hopefully get a goal just to put the pressure on. And here's how it looks for Borussia Mönchengladbach. The Swiss international Jan Sommer is the goalkeeper. Matthias Ginter plays with Nico Elvedi in central defence. And as for the attack, well, it has a bold look. Of... He can't hold on to it. And you've got to say, he's made a right mess of that. He's tried to place it, Derek, but he couldn't place it farther from the goal if he tried. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. Aguero, shielding the ball superbly. Walker. And the decision offside here. Well, back in season 1992-93, the old European Cup, as it was, became the UEFA Champions League. Back in your playing days, Lee. Yeah, absolutely. And he might be through here. Just cleared away in the nick of time. Lars Stindl. And that is going to be a free kick. Florian Neuhaus. Giving it a try. There it is! And just the ideal start! On they go again. A wake-up call for the City players, maybe. Can they find a response now? The referee has decided to give the free-kick decision the way of City. Gundogan De Bruyne Not a fantastic piece of defending, was it? That's a foul And it will be a potentially dangerous free kick Terrific block there a very good looking move but alas no end product Rodri Aguero and it crossed the touchline so a throw in here credit to them for winning back possession a good hit close shave Useful looking ball. Well, now in a dangerous position. Well, he saw the whites of the keeper's eyes and the whites of his outstretched gloves. Great goalkeeping. Well, he's denied a certain goal there. Great reflexes from the keeper. Player. Player. Oh, it's in. A two goal cushion now. And the lead fully merited. Well, this is worth another look, Derek. Lovely movement and guile to easily evade the defender. But most of the blame has to be levelled at the goalkeeper. Your coach is a youngster to always protect your near post. And he just didn't do that and paid the price. Well, a second goal for them here. An authoritative challenge. It's very attractive attacking football, and Mares comes into things now. 
not a great cross, making the goalkeeper's job rather easy. The hosts really haven't had too much of the ball, but on the break they've been devastating. The pace really hurts defences. They've been electric when they've had the ball. And breaking at pace with Menace. Can they keep it going? And space for the cross. Teammate available. Oh, he's given it. The referee says penalty. And an opportunity for them to pull one back here. And a goal! He was composure personified, and he's done his job from the spot. And as they kick off again, 2-1 the current state of affairs. Florian Neuhaus. And a poor ball. De Bruyne. Sergio Aguero has it. Well, there might well be scope for them to counter-attack here. Well, so many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. Turam. Trailing as they are. The tackle completely mistimed, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. Hoffman on the ball Zakaria Stindl important block by Walker well, but tackling like that the onus is on the referee to take action potentially Walker here's Mares. Moving forward effectively. A super tackle and they've won possession. This could be the equaliser. Straightforward for the keeper. Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. Oh, a nice looking pass. So the whistle then, we're up the halfway stage in this match. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Mares. gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in Aguero and return to De Bruyne well there it is real resilience for you having been two goals down well here's the replay and I enjoy this passage of play it's lovely to watch superb passing and it's good solid technique to get his header on target but it's only because of the lack of challenge from the defenders really poor that is I have to say well as the game has restarted we're left to reflect on four goals 2-2 two -two. he might be able to profit from the wide position Ilkay Gundogan at the ready Save, but still a chance. De Bruyne threading it through. Oh, a goal! Can you believe what we're watching? It truly is a comeback and a half. Well, here we see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch slick movement but most of the blame has to be leveled at the goalkeeper your coach is a youngster to always protect your near post and he just didn't do that and paid the price 3-2 it is who would have predicted that before a ball was kicked
Good looking sequence. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Stindl. Can they square the game? They just couldn't stay in front. And now this match is all square. Well, the lead barely lasted a few minutes and they're right back in it. Conceding a goal after you've just scored. Almost criminal. Well, another equaliser. What a topsy-turvy game this has been. Now oh, that's a well-timed pass. Walker. And now Stones. De Bruyne. Couldn't keep it. Plea. Masterful piece of foiling. And a throw in forthcoming. Plea. And they have possession again. Can they take advantage? Oh, crucial tackle. Brilliant. Well, that's gone out, and it is going to be a goal kick. Well, here's the replay, and as we can see, the defence can't cope with the through ball. And when he gets through to the keeper, he just smashes it past him and gives him no chance to think. A lovely finish. Questions have been asked of Manchester City. Now it's all about their answers. Rodri. Sergio Aguero has it. A City free kick forthcoming. And Sterling has it. Rodri. Showing patience. Looking for the equaliser. So 20 minutes to go. And in with a real chance. Can he finish? Well, he saw the whites of the keeper's eyes and the whites of his outstretched gloves. Great goalkeeping. Well, he's denied a certain goal there. Great reflexes from the keeper. So the corner played into the box. Well, the keeper very decisive. Hoffman, player. And given away. Stindl. Determined defending. Attempting to play catch up in this second half. Lee, what ought the priorities to be? Well, we've seen City score late goals in the past. They won't give up, that's for sure. They need to pile the pressure on. Surely they'll get one more chance. Rodri. And Manchester City moving the ball with purpose. Well, he's given a corner, their referee. And Manchester City will go to their bench. Now the delivery. Good stop from the keeper. Another corner following on from the last one. And firing it into the area. But the keeper takes command. De Bruyne. This could square the game. Just cutting off the supply. Tremendous challenge. Can he play it in? De Bruyne. Giving them a different option by moving in field. Oh, tremendous block. Foden. Has eyes for goal. Ball is loose. What a vital intervention. This could be the equaliser. But no, 
when your goalkeeper comes up with a save like that late in the game, you have cause to be thankful. And there we are, Derek. You said it right at the end of the game. He's fluffed his lines, but the keeper... Oh, surely. And now he must score. And a goal. It was served up on a silver platter for him. Well, I'm sure you want to see this again. Where is everybody? The defenders, nowhere to be seen. It's an open goal. And level again here. This has been quite the roller coaster ride. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Foden. Well, he played that one really well. Manchester City still on the attack as the Met. Well, that is not an example of how to chip accurately. Well, sometimes, Derek, you can be too clever. And he was trying to be too clever there. Zakaria. Oh, good vision. It could be the big moment for him. I'll tell you what, Lee, that was an important save at a big moment of the game. Well, I was watching the keeper as he went through and his eyes were focused on the ball. What a brilliant piece of goalkeeping. Not out of the woods yet. Oh, he's really opened them up here. Can he put it away? This is why we adore this game. Late drama, and now they're in front. Well, it looks like the game is over, but no. There's another chance, and there it is, back of the net. It looks like the winner. Well, here we can take another look at it. You've got to ask questions about the keeper's positioning. That's half of his job. He can put the best keeper in the world wrong side of the goal, and he won't save anything. Having conceded, Manchester City know they've got to come up with a response. And just the one minute left in normal time here. Well, that is how to run at defenders. Oh, it's a penalty! How about that? And at this late stage too, an opportunity for them to level matters. Well, a little lucky to get away without a card. Might be his last warning though. Well, here's the replay, Derek. They say a good penalty is one that goes in. Well, that was always going to be the case here as the keeper gambles early and goes the wrong way. Easy penalty in the end. And the whistle is sounded, and these two teams are locked together.